Yo, let's go. We did it. I like your cut, G. In this video, we are going to get all the contest ribbons in Pokemon Shining Pearl, but our Pokemon has terrible contest stats. God awful. We are going to prove that even if life deals you a bad hand, you can be resilient and persist through the difficulties. Our test subject is Omastar, affectionately nicknamed Sacrifice. Alright, let's go mess up its stats. In Pokemon Brilliant Diamond Shining Pearl, Pokemon have this stat called Sheen. Super simplified explanation, but Pokemon can eat Poffins to boost their stats in Pokemon contests, but these Poffins are of variable quality. Some are made better than others. Whenever a Pokemon eats a Poffin, the Poffin's smoothness value is added to the Pokemon's Sheen, up to a maximum of 255 Sheen. Pokemon start out with 0 Sheen, and once it reaches 255 Sheen, its contest stats is permanent and cannot be reset. How we are doing this is that we are intentionally going to make 12 Foul Poffins, or level 2, which is as low as it can get. If you use the same type of berry, it will automatically become a Foul Poffin. We're just gonna let it burn and burn and burn. After creating some dark matter, we just need to feed this abomination to one poor unfortunate soul. A little simplified, but you could think of one star on the sheen meter as equivalent to one foul poffin. Altogether, there were 12 foul poffins made to max out the Pokemon's sheen, and because the sheen was maxed out from the foul poffins, it meant that this Pokemon's contest stats was permanently f***ed. Surely we can still get all the contest ribbons in this game? It'll just be unnecessarily difficult. Disclaimer, don't do this to your Pokemon. If you want to have an easy time at doing the Pokemon contests, just do a little research on good Poffin recipes. It will save you a lot of time and frustration. If you did this process accidentally, don't worry, you can still get the contest ribbons. It's not impossible, I promise you that. The contest stats setup is complete and the game has been saved for good measure. We will need the contest scarves to help us, optimal stickable capsules, and a good contest move on top of good rhythm game skills. For the contest move, the effect we want is height points gained will increase by 3 if Groove is positive, ideally with 3 hearts. I began with the TM Waterfall because Omante couldn't learn the TM Giga Impact. In terms of my ball capsule setup, I had 6 ball capsules, one for the 5 different categories and one for the Brilliant Shining Contest. I also made sure that every ball capsule had 20 out of 20 stickers and that the stickers chosen were optimized for that specific contest type, i.e. cool, beauty, cute, clever, and tough. My brilliant shining contest ball capsule had 3 champion stickers, 11 showmaster stickers, and 6 other contest stickers. Not going to lie, this was a very frustrating experience. This is saying, if you fail to prepare, you prepare to fail, and my god was it true in this case. The bowl capsule was set up with the appropriate stickers, the contest scarf was equipped, the clothing style doesn't matter, how else can we set us up for success? We're trying to get our first contest ribbon, and if our contest stats were maxed out, this would be pretty goddamn easy, but it wasn't. This is like my 17th failed run just for the coolness contest master ribbon. I'm having such a hard time just for one of the six contests. I'm having such a hard time just for one of the six contest ribbons that I'm going for. I guess I was surprised. The dance portion was not the issue. The visual aspect was beyond saving. Turns out it was my contest move that was sabotaging all my efforts. This time for sure. There are two stars of the show pairs this time. I have hope. Yes, yeah, no. Damn it. We will get these ribbons. We're just playing on handicap mode. In the time that it took for me to get this ribbon, I could have gotten the same ribbon like 5 times over if my contest stats were maxed out. But as you can see, nothing is impossible.
Let's do it again. We gotta do this for all the other contests too. We're gonna equip the blue scarf. We're gonna get up after we fall. We're going to give a performance of a lifetime. I am reminded of this quote from Albert Einstein that went something like this. Insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. After many failed runs, I thought this isn't working well enough. I need to change the contest move. The contest move is screwing me over. Now we should have a much more feasible time in getting these contest ribbons. We have our contest scarf equipped, our ball capsule stickers are optimized well, we got the dance skills, we can giga impact our way through the contests. If I hear skibbity riz one more time, I will nick someone other than myself. My vibes are different, but I got this. The show might be a failure, but we got our contest ribbon. There were still some failed attempts, but not nearly as many as previously. Evolving Omante into Omastar so that it can learn Giga Impact as its contest move definitely helped with the acquisition of these contest ribbons. I would make sure to change the contest scarf so it matched the contest that I was doing. The contest scarves are a must when your visuals are terror bad. From here, it was really just a few hours of grinding and getting lucky with my runs. Doesn't matter if the contest was a failure, you just need to be the star of the show to be awarded the contest ribbon. After grabbing the cute contest ribbon, we just rinsed and repeat to earn the clever contest ribbon. Cares if others view it as a failure, as long as you did your best, that's what matters. One more master contest to go before we tackle on the shining brilliant contest. Same routine as usual, change the contest scarf, select the right bowl capsule, spam A and hold A, press X once, Ta-da! We have our toughness contest ribbon. Lord Helix is cool, beauty, cute, clever, tough, and shining brilliantly. Now hear me out. It was actually easier to get the twinkling star ribbon than it was to get the individual contest ribbons. The visual aspect seems to be calculated differently in the shining brilliant contest. I think it's based on how full your Pokemon's sheen is, whereas in the individual contests, how much the contest stats have been boosted matter more so than the Pokemon's sheen. This last ribbon was the easiest one, surprisingly. Advice on doing the rhythm game would probably be, do it in handheld mode. There is a bit of leeway, so it's, it's okay to make a couple mistakes. If you're really struggling with the rhythm game, do the contest move to skip a hard part, otherwise I personally just follow the NPC. Following this is a video of me doing a full uncut run of the Shining Contest, just so you can see more of the Rhythm Game section.
that's how you get all the contest ribbons in Pokemon Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. Even if your Pokemon has the cruddiest contest stats, it is possible to get all the contest ribbons. You just have to compensate for the low visual score by making your Pokemon equip a contest scarf, ensuring you have a good contest move because it makes a significant difference, optimizing your bowl capsule stickers, and doing the rhythm game portion well enough. Let's do the gallery walk of fame. Thank you for watching. I hope you got something out of this video. If you enjoyed it, be sure to subscribe. I have so many videos that I want to create and ideas that I want to bring to life. Let me know what you think in the comments, I do read them. And that's everything for the video. Thank you.